cannot figure out why international, it's not Nexus, it's international, international chassis, why they would put that horn on this. I have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Pathetic. We've had this thing for over two and a half years. Yeah. And we still have done nothing about the horn, but that is going to change. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I found this. This is a, uh, an air horn for $33. We use the word air horn loosely. In quotes, air horn. Yeah. It's not a train horn. I mean, look at this. Look, it's kind of oh ridiculous. My gosh. It's not going to have a very deep tone to it because look how short these trumpets are. Which is fine. That's not what we were after. Plastic. I guess we'll just, we'll see here. It can't be worse than what's on there. And if it is, that's pretty bad. Yeah. $33. Do you guys think it's going to be a bit of a significant difference? Oh my gosh. I hope so. This one's about uh, seven and three quarters. And then this one looks like it's about five and a half. They're small. Yeah. And this has the compressor attached to them. Other kits had the compressor mounted separately. Then you had like tubing that would go to the horns. I wanted it simple. Just all in one. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Let's try it. So what do the instructions say to do first? There are none. Not that I ever use them, but this is what you get. You get your mounting bracket right here, okay. and then the packaging, and it's all you get. No paperwork whatsoever. There's nothing else. Okay. So if it was me, I'd be like, well, this sucks. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But with you, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. I'm going to remove the stock horn mm -hmm. and... This is basically just going to replace it. Underneath here, that, that is the stock horn. Just gonna remove the wiring, remove it off the bracket. There we are. I had to make a little bit of a longer bracket there, but let's see if it works. City horn had been replaced. Woohoo! It wasn't that bad. I made a, I made a bracket for the, the air horns. <laughs> you wanna be the first one to do it? Come on. Man, that was loud. We're inside of a garage too, but holy crap, that was loud. Here comes Piper, she was in here with me. <laughs> What's going on? Do it one more time. <laughs> sounds pretty good, but like we said, we're inside the garage. We'll have to see once we're out. Right. How it sounds. It is definitely louder, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and just hit meep meep. Yes, that actually reminded me of like the Roadrunner sound, like meep meep. So yeah, very so, small. I mean, what do you guys think? Was it better before? <laughs> or was it better after? Right, leave a comment below, let us know what you think. It was $33 on Amazon. Right. I honestly, I thought it was gonna be crap, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I am impressed. And it's cheap enough that if six months from now it's not working anymore, I'll just buy another one. Right, yeah, on just there. buy something different and throw it on there. There'll be a link in the description in case you guys are interested in that horn. If not, that's fine. If not, whatever. <laughs>
we paid for this. So I'm going to see how hard it is to swap this out. I know we're inside of a building, but let's see if this antenna, the current one, can get any channels. After we put the new one on, we'll run this test again and see if we get any channels from inside. Here you can see the lights on, so the booster is on. And then uh, get the remote. Let's see, find channels. This takes a while, so I will spare you. We'll stop recording and pick it up when it's done. Surprise, surprise. 100% done, zero digital, zero analog, just as always. We are located just outside of Toledo, so we should get at least one channel. At least something. And we're very close to uh, Detroit as well, yeah. so we should be able to pick up. And Windsor. Yeah. <laughs> something. Something. Give me something. Climbing up here on this roof, going past the ceiling fans, terrifying. There's the antenna down there with the new one. This roof up here is filthy. Lynn should get up here and wash this thing. What's wrong with her? What do you guys think? Should Lynn get up here in a bikini and wash the roof? So here's the old antenna, this piece of junk. It's got lap sealing all over. You can see where the screws are. So I'm gonna use my fancy Milwaukee impact driver, surge driver, I'm sorry. Start to back these screws out. I got the screws out, but there's so much lap sealing around this thing that it's, it's solid. It's like completely held to the roof, lap sealant. Man, that really sucked. That sucked a lot. I used a heat gun to kind of loosen it up or soften it up. Now I gotta clean all this. This is the worst part of the whole thing. <laughs> I'm up here sweating away trying to heat up this lap sealant. What's she doing? What is that? <laughs> Let's see. Let me try and scrape this up. Oh yeah. Look at this big old ball of lap sealant. There's the trash can. Holding the camera and doing this, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh. oh you're so close. Dang. They're upside down, but they're side by side. And it looks like they're the same dimensions, except the 360 is just slightly taller. It's a tiny bit. Don't mind the extension cord. And these three little wires or cables here for the the Wi-Fi stuff. If you upgrade to that, it's like a 300 and some odd dollar router that you add to this on top of paying for a cell plan. But we've got three phones with hotspots, so we'll probably just stick to that for now. I connected the coax cable that comes out of the roof there and when I set this down here even the screw holes matching up the screw holes they all match all matchy matchy it's just a direct swap this is gonna be great before I seal this thing up with lap sealant which I got a couple tubes let's go back down and let's do a, a scan see if we get any channels while you're slaving away defrosting the freezer yeah I'm doing the antenna <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. That's right. Here we go. Second time around. Let's find some channels. It's not even done yet. It's 31%. But I want to show you, it's already found 17 digital channels. 100%. 17 channels is all we got. But we're inside of a building. And it's already showing a TV. Is that not incredible? It's way better. So this is all the stuff that it came with, you know, all the pieces, parts, wires, and everything. But since I had the 360, it was just a direct swap to the 360 plus. All right, time to start sealing this thing up. Don't worry about using too much lap sealant. You can see what it looked like when I got up here originally. Now well, there you have it. That's a whole tube of self-living lap sealant. I mean, you might as well, if you open a tube, just use the whole thing. I'm going to see it starting to level out. What they actually have inside this antenna makes no sense for the actual size of this thing. I mean, this is just nothing. There's nothing here. It's a circuit board and this flimsy ass antenna. Time has come. I honestly can't think of a better ending to this stupid piece of <laughs>
God. Somebody's got to clean this up. Yeah, and that somebody is not me. Now here's your, your antenna. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> Piper had to come make sure you're okay. Yeah. I think she thinks I'm mad. Yeah. Oh. Should I come check on you? Yep. The guy is not. He's just eating grass. <laughs> <laughs>